hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing something that i have been putting off for a long time basically since we moved into this apartment which was six months ago this is kind of embarrassing but today i'm going to tackle my dresser which might look fine on the outside but let me show you guys the truth so if we actually open the drawers they're a mess and what happened was in the truck they actually put the dresser on its side which is why it ended up damaging some of the dresser but anyway basically everything was organized but it all just kind of fell over and then i kind of just pushed it back but never fully organized it some are better than others like yeah that one's pretty bad this one actually has some little dividers so it's not too bad and yeah, I just haven't been wearing like these because it's mainly like t-shirts and I guess I've been wearing things from my other closet more. This one's pretty bad. So I've just been putting this off, but it's time to finally tackle this. As you guys can see, I organized it by color, but I'm going to bring everything out. I'm going to go through everything, figure out what I want to keep, what I want to give away because I feel like a lot of this stuff I don't use, obviously, because I haven't really been coming to this dresser to get clothes. So. That should say something and yeah then I'm gonna organize it and I'm gonna try to like fold it and put it in there like the Murray Kondo style which is kind of like standing up I don't know I'll insert a picture so you guys can know what I'm talking about in case you haven't seen that but yeah that would be pretty nice because then I feel like I'll be able to see every shirt and it'll be easier for me to know like which shirt I'm getting or like when I'm looking for something I can spot it so that's the plan so I guess I'm gonna start drawer by drawer and I'm just gonna throw everything on the bed and just sort through it. So I actually have two drawers of black shirts, as you guys may have noticed. So I guess I'll pull everything out so I can sort through it. Um, but yeah, that's just the color I use the most. And I think I'll still need two drawers after this. So yeah, but I'm gonna try to get rid of as much as I can. Well, that's a lot of black shirts. So this is probably gonna take forever to sort through. I'll speed it up unless, you know, there's something I want to show you guys or whatever but yeah also I want to say that I know this video isn't for everyone like some people might be like why the heck would I want to watch organize your clothes but some people like it including me I love watching people organize their things I find it kind of like motivating I guess so yeah so hopefully some of you enjoy this gotta keep my Pokemon shirt <laughs> This shirt I've actually had since I was a kid. Obviously back then it was like a full size shirt for me. And now I actually like to use it as a little crop top and super old, I guess it's vintage now. And yeah, pretty cool. Also it says Hollywood, so it's pretty cool that I kept it all this time and now I live in LA, so you know, it was meant to be. So I'm gonna be making three separate piles, I guess. The ones that I'm gonna keep, shirts that I'm just gonna throw away cause they're just like damaged or something like really old. And then I'm also gonna make a pile of clothes that I'm going to donate that are still in good condition, but you know, it's time for them to move on. As Marie Kondo would say, they just don't spark joy, you know? There are some pieces like this that to me are just kind of sentimental, but they're like really old or I don't wear them. Like this is even too small probably for me now. I don't know. But I just used to love this band as a teenager and yeah, I don't know. It just like brings back so many memories, so I feel bad getting rid of it. So I don't know. I'll keep it in a fourth pile, which will be my baby pile, I guess. And then there are shirts like this, which um, this is from a screen printing class I took. So I actually made this, not the actual shirt, just the print. But. Yeah, I never wear it, so I guess I'll donate it. Hopefully someone enjoys what I've made. So I'm done with black. That's what I'm gonna keep. I tried to put it in piles of like crop tops, tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeves, and then three quarters. It's a little messy, but I'm still gonna fold everything. Um, 
I guess that's my maybe pile, which I need to go through. Um, this is stuff that I'm keeping, but I want to put it with like my workout clothes and that goes with like my sleeping shirts. And then this is the stuff that I am going to donate. I'm actually bringing in this basket for the donation. Later I'll fold it and put it in a box. But I think I'm gonna move through all of the colors, like maybe push these aside and go through all the colors. And then once I've selected everything that I'm gonna keep, then I'll just fold everything at once. Also, I have one of those little folding thingies, but I still don't know how I feel about it. Like I love how perfect things look afterwards, but I feel like it makes folding take way longer. So I'll see. All right, next up is gray. I actually used to have two drawers of gray as well but I managed to get rid of a lot of it. Every time like I moved or just from time to time, I like to like go through my things and just get rid of as much as possible. But yeah, so now let's try to make this an even smaller pile. This is how much I'm getting rid of. And then these are the ones I'm keeping, I guess. Can't really see. Here we go. Crop tops, tanks, t-shirts, three quarters, long sleeves. Oh, and then I separated these. I wanted to show you guys just how many like Mickey and mini shirts I have. Like Mickey, Mickey, mini, Mickey. And there were some in the black ones as well. So there's some were in there, but yeah, I think I have a problem. <laughs> and once again, I had some shirts in here that I want to put with like stuff to sleep and things that I work out in. All right, so let's move on to white. I feel like this is one where I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff, I think. I just feel like there's so much in here that I don't wear. But before I get through the sorting, you know how I said I have a lot of like Disney shirts? Here's another Mickey one. Here's another mini one. I'm pretty sure my sister got me this one. More Mickey. <laughs> More Mickey. Oh, look at that. More Mickey. <laughs> I think that's it though. Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, actually this one, I guess, has a Mickey, kind of. Another screen printing project. I actually don't like this shirt, so that's gotta go. This isn't Mickey, but it's Disney from Pocahontas. So cute. All right, let me get into actual sorting though. Another thing I have an obsession with is off the shoulder tops. I have it like in black, in white, in like a rust color, in yellow. Um, actually, I think I have a couple in black, but yeah. I just love it. I just think it's such like a flattering like type of shirt. I don't know, I love it. If any of you have a favorite shirt, I think this is mine. It's just a simple little white like ribbed crop top from Garage Clothing and I love it so much, but it's like looking so old already. So I really want them to bring it back so I can get some more. But yeah, I just love it. I love the way it fits and it's so comfy, so my favorite. I have so many band tees and I don't know what to do about it because I don't really wear them anymore, but I feel bad. They were such a big part of my teenage years. I don't know what to do. Eh, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Another shirt that I love so much. I guess I just like basic white shirts, but it's this one from Abercrombie. It's just such a simple little shirt, but it's like kind of oversized and it like feels nice and just the way it fits. And then it's like the perfect length for me to tuck into like high-waisted jeans. So I love it. I actually ordered two of these because I knew I would love it and I do. So I wear them all the time. I do like stripes, but I'm just not really a tank top kind of girl, you know? I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I never really like have my arms, I guess the top part of my arms out. I don't know. I just don't like how it looks on me. could only see myself wearing this maybe like over like a workout top, so I guess I'll keep it for that. Also, this other striped shirt, <laughs> I never wear it, but I've kept it because this was the first thing I ever thrifted. Like when I was a teenager, I'd love to go to, um, what was it, Beacon's Closet in Brooklyn. And I thrifted a shirt and at the time I loved it. It was like my emo days and 
I just wore this a lot. So I have like this like attachment to it so I never get rid of it. But I feel like it's kind of silly because I don't wear it. Yeah, I think it's time for it to go. So I thrifted it and now I'll donate it and someone else will get the chance to thrift it as well. All right, keep pile, donation pile, and my little pile that's going from like to my other closet where I keep my workout and sleep stuff. All right, time for blue. This is the only color where I actually have a full drawer for like an actual color, you know, not black, white, and gray. And then the last drawer is just the rest of my colors because I don't wear color that often, but I do like blue. This shirt is actually pretty cool. I don't wear it like that often, but it's great for like, you know, 4th of July and stuff like that. Obviously, I have to keep my Ravenclaw shirt. I mean, what else would I wear to Harry Potter World? Wow, so this shirt still has a tag. It's from Forever 21. And I've had this for so long and I can't believe that I've never worn it. I actually think it's really pretty. Like, this how it looks in the front and then there's this open. Oh, that's why I haven't worn it. I haven't figured out how to wear it because basically your back is out so you can't really wear a bra with it but then it's too thin to not wear a bra so yeah now i remember why i haven't worn this but i'm gonna keep it because i think it's really pretty and i'm gonna try to find a way to make it work <laughs> this is another shirt that i love i really should wear my blue shirts more often but it's like a little ribbed shirt i loved ribbed shirts so that's why i love this one and this one actually goes like off the shoulder but it's long sleeves. It's so pretty. My sister Priscilla gave this to me. It's from Hollister. And yeah, I love it. I really want to wear this now. I actually just bought this shirt the other day um, from the Disney store. It says the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. And I thought it was cute. I feel like every time I go to Disney, I wear something that's like super Disney, you know, like has Mickey or Minnie or whatever. So I thought that this would be a cute little alternative because it's not like in your face Disney but it's still Disney and very cute. And I think this is actually a kid's shirt, maybe? I don't know, it is a small, but I just thought it could be like a cute little crop top. Oh, look at that, another off the shoulder top. Also, another Mickey shirt, but this one's different because this one is supposed to be like a sporty one, I think. I think it was also Priscilla that got this for me so I could wear during one of the World Cups. It was supposed to be like my Brazil shirt, I guess. Although it's not really obvious that this is for Brazil, but yeah. Alright, I didn't have too much to get rid of from that but i also didn't have much to begin with so this is what i'm keeping okay on to the last drawer like i said it's all the rest of the colors i mean if you can even consider this a color it's like baby ivory color um and like kind of purpley orange pink yellows and greens and then browns and stuff tans i don't know Apparently I'm not getting rid of anything from this little pile. Alright, so for this pile, which is like yellows and green, uh, that's what I'm keeping and I got rid of just two shirts. Okay, keeping all of these. Here's another <laughs> off the shoulder top. I mean, come on, they're so cute. This is actually really pretty, but it's another one of those shirts that's just so complicated to wear because it's completely see-through, but you like kind of wrap it and then you close it with this. But as pretty as it is, I just feel like I'm never gonna wear it. So can I get rid of this along with some other shirts? So yeah, just two for this color. Now let's do all the beige ones. How pretty is this little halter top? I mean, it's a little like wrinkly and stuff, but it's all like crocheted and stuff. Isn't that cool? I feel like it's really cool if you're going like on like a little tropical trip, you know, like on the beach or something. All right, well, I'm done. There's the pile I'm keeping. And then these are the ones I'm getting rid of. 
So basically all of this is what I'm keeping and that I need to fold to organize into the dresser. All of this is what I got rid of and that I am donating. All right, I got my handy dandy t-shirt folder thing. I'm gonna try to do it with this first. If I feel like it's taking too long, then I'm just gonna do it without it. But yeah, I guess the goal is to fold everything into like the exact same size and kind of like rectangular, but like small, I don't know, a way that I can like stand them in the drawer. That's the plan, so now I'm really gonna speed things up. So folding it with this is actually going pretty well. It's a little complicated with like really small shirts or like tank tops and stuff, but I managed to do that over there. But for t-shirts, it works really well. So I thought I'd show you guys a little close-up of how it is. All right, so you just make sure it's lined up right here and it's in the center, make sure everything's flat. And then you just do one side, the other side. And then if the sleeve is going across like here, then you just fold that as well. And then that. And then if you store your clothes like this, then it would be done. But since I am doing it that way where I said it has to like stand up, I'm actually folding it one more time so that it looks like this and that way I'll be able to store them this way. And yeah, and that just goes right there. And look how all of them are just like the perfect same size. So I'm just gonna keep doing that with all of this. That might take a while, so I'll catch up with you guys once I'm done. All right, so. I'm actually running out of space on the bed, but I've managed to fold a lot of the clothes, like all the whites, the grays, I got started on the blacks. But since I'm running out of space on the bed, I figured I would start putting everything into the drawers. So I thought I would show you guys that. Hopefully it works for me to be able to like, you know, put them like this. It was pretty hard to fold any like little, like very small crop tops and like I said, tank tops and just, I don't know, some shirts are kind of hard or they're just super soft so they don't really stand very well. So hopefully it'll be fine once they're all in there and there's like enough of them to keep it up. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I have my first little pile here which is crop tops. And yeah, I basically did it from like uh, off the shoulder all the way to um, just short sleeves. I guess I don't have any long sleeves. Actually, I'm pretty sure I do, so maybe it's in this pile. Okay, here we go. Here's the long sleeve one. And I guess just put that here. <laughs> I don't know, hopefully this works. And then I have tank tops next. Which will go here. I actually feel like this is gonna take up way less space. Like I might not even need two drawers for my black shirt. All right, so next up is t-shirts um, that have prints on them. And it goes from like the smallest to the biggest one, like oversized. So I'll put that in here and then that should be enough for this side. So that actually looks really cool. I can definitely like go through it and see the shirts. Um, yeah, I really like that. I have so much space and I don't have that many more. Next up is basically just basic white shirts. Like they don't have any print on them. So I'll just put those here. These are also pretty much basic, but they're like a different material, like a little, I don't know, dressier, I guess. So actually I'll put these like that. And then lastly, long sleeves, although I wanna kind of rearrange this, put the thinner fabrics first. And put this sweater back here and this here. And voila, I'm done. I just realized the corner of the table was in front of that the whole time, so awesome. But anyway, this is how it's looking. So I don't know if it's because I got rid of stuff or this actually does save space, but I no longer need the whole thing for my white shirt. So that's pretty cool and yeah. I just really like how I'm able to see. Like it's harder for the white ones, I guess, because, well, I mean like the all white ones, because I won't really know which is which unless I like, I don't know, kind of feel it and stuff. But yeah, at least for ones with prints and stuff, this really works. All right, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna put the ones already folded away and then finish folding all of this. And then I should be ready to show you guys how it looks. I actually don't think I filmed it before, but um, you guys kind of saw it at the beginning and maybe I'll include something. But yeah, the next clip I guess should be the reveal. And voila.
I'm done and everything looks so good. I have so much empty space, which is crazy. I know I got rid of stuff, but I do think that this method actually helps you save space. So I'll show you guys each of the drawers really quick. So over on the bottom right, I did all of my like ivories and creams and stuff going into tans and then all of the rest of the colors that I own, which as you guys saw is not a lot. And then of course some empty space, this one as well. And here is all of my blues. This really does work really well for seeing like what each shirt is. So I really love that. So over on the second row, we have the grays over here. So I try to keep all of the ones with prints on this side and then the basic ones over here. And then the same for the whites, prints, basics, and yeah. It's kind of crazy how in almost like every drawer I had the same amount. Like I just have like two rows and one empty one. So yeah. And then lastly up here. So as you guys know, before I had two for black, I still do. But here it filled out the whole drawer. This is the only drawer that's completely full. And look how satisfying that is to just see everything folded like this and be able to like see what each shirt is. I love it. Obviously, like I said, with the solids, like it's a little bit harder, but yeah, at least I know they're here and I could kind of go through it, maybe feel the material or I don't know, pull it out or something. But yeah, so here I basically did all of the like prints and I also did the t-shirts, I believe. And maybe I think, yeah, I think I had two, three quarter length sleeves over here so I put it back there and then on this side is just my long sleeve shirt so this one is pretty empty there's only one row but I just love that I have you know space to grow now and I don't have to be worried about spaces before I had to like struggle a bit to try to like close these drawers and now that's not an issue anymore. All right, well, that's it. I can't believe I'm finally done. This is why I kept putting it off, because that took so long. I don't know if you guys could really tell by the lighting, but yeah, the sun should be setting soon. But I am glad that I finally got that over with and everything just looks so much more organized and it's just, it's amazing to be able to open my drawers now and see that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, bye.